it's dramatic now to see a piece of road in the middle of a forest. So we're now surrounded by the forest. And uh, yeah, it's really kind of the story of Point Pelee. As we, as we tell the story now, half of the land in the park at one time had been developed. There was cottages, farms, fisheries, all kinds of pressure on the park. And over time, especially beginning in the 1950s really, all this land was getting bought up and returned to nature. And uh, this sort of epitomizes the, the projects that we've done where a lot of people had some great ideas in the past. We were able to remove this infrastructure, but also take advantage in different ways. So nature not only takes advantage of the, the added space, but we're also able to do new things with the space. So we've, we've got the campground, for example, part of it's on this roadbed further north. And we also have a trail running along this roadbed as well. So it's got sort of a win-win for nature and for people. Unlike other national parks, this was a, a park that has been at risk for a very long time, was almost lost because of the foresight of some people a long time ago. And now what we're seeing now is the benefits of that being th this protection. We're seeing the wildlife uh, able to uh, remain and in some cases returned. Uh, you know, we were talking about the uh, turkeys, for example. You know, they had been gone for probably a century. And now they're doing very well here. Um, but it's not only about the nature returning, but it's also giving the people of this region an opportunity to access this natural area. When I was researching uh, background of the park, um, I, the things that I found the most interesting were the, um, the interviews done uh, with the farmers that were here at the time, and, uh, and then also the information that I could get from the uh, naturalists who were coming early in the um, uh, 1900s. And uh, those bits of information gave me a much better uh, view of what the park was in those days, in the early days and before it actually was a park, and how that sort of changed to what we see today. I, as I did the research, I realized that a community had been um, de destroyed, if you will, in order to create Point Pelee as we know it today.